Hi, I'm Jessica Beck from IELTS Energy, the very popular podcast, luckily. <laughs> I still love doing it. And the online course, Three Keys IELTS. Um, today, I'm taking a little bit of a break from our recent series about how to score highly in all the categories for writing. I thought it was time for a vocabulary episode. So, um, recently, there has been a question on the exam about describing a novel or a book. There are also commonly part one questions about books you read, um, the part two question about novels and stories, and then this of course is continued in part three about what your culture likes to read, books, magazines, newspapers. So I thought today we'd go into some interesting vocabulary to talk about this very common topic. Uh, the first vocab word which I love using and teaching, it's genre. Now, of course, this is a French word, but we do use it in English, so it sounds impressive when you use it on the exam. Genre is simply the type of story, the type of music, or the type of movie, okay? So genres of movies might be action, comedy, romance. Genres of stories would be romance, of course. Um, action is not a, a genre of book, okay? I heard some, a student say that recently. It's not. Um, could be a, um, a detective novel, for example, a thriller, a mystery. Uh, my favorite genre, of course, is sci-fi, science fiction. So get to know the different kinds of genres and try to work that into your answers. Um, another idiom that I love using is describing a book as a real page turner. That means that it's so exciting. You just, you, you read so fast, you can't wait to turn the page. Okay, a real page page turner. I hope you guys have one of those in your background. Um, another way to describe a story that is really good, and this could be a movie or a book or a comic book, is to say that it grabbed me from page one. Okay, so that's an idiom to say that you were into this story right away. Okay, it grabbed me from page one. If you're talking about a movie, you could say, it grabbed me from the get-go. <gasps> or it had me from page one, it had me from the get-go. Um, these are really, really native speaker uh, idioms that you do not hear other students use. I don't hear students use these at all. Where you hear them is in native speaker conversations. So again, this is how you get a high score for vocab, guys. Showing the examiner that you are, you are a step above. You have gone beyond your vocabulary. For, you have gone beyond these other students in your vocabulary. Okay, so practice using these idioms. Write it down. Practice using them in conversation and in your IELTS practice. Um, you could also say that a book or a story was a great read. It was a great read. Now remember guys, you can be honest. You can say that the last book you read was not a great read. That is also an, an interesting way to approach your answers and an honest way to approach your answers. And I think when you're honest about your personal experiences, that's when you relax, you become more natural in your pronunciation and more specific in your vocabulary. So. This advice that I'm giving you, these phrases I'm giving you, um, are not just to increase vocabulary, but to increase your scores across the board. Um, the last thing that is something interesting to talk about are, is the characters, okay? So something that I like to talk about when I'm discussing books and movies and TV shows is saying whether or not the characters had depth, okay? This is like, if you feel like you really know a character, you know some of their background, you feel like they're a person that you could talk to, that you could meet, not just a one-dimensional character, like this character only is sad, I don't know. <laughs> um, if you feel like you, can, you have gotten into these characters and you know them, you say they have depth. So that is another interesting um, detail and uh, interesting vocab chunk there to provide the examiner. 
All right, so again, guys, watch this video a couple times. Please take notes on these words and practice using them. All right, for more ways to increase your IELTS score, guaranteed to increase your IELTS score, check out our online course, Three Keys IELTS, available now on our website, ielts.allearsenglish.com. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.